Good morning. I'm Curtis with Valaris Martial Arts Madison. Welcome to live kickboxing. This will be my last live stream on Facebook. We are going to transition to a little bit different uh, structure at Valaris Madison. We'll still be offering these classes, but we're going to do them on Zoom probably. You will hear more details about exactly how things are going to work extremely soon within the next couple of days. And uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this class today. There will not be a class Thursday, but you can look for the same good regular offerings next week, just in a slightly updated form. So let's get started. Today I'm using one of my favorite playlists from the last uh, couple of months. I have to make it unshuffle. Here we go. The theme for today, and so far as we have a theme, is uh, no theme. Roller next. And what I mean is, we have spent some time now working on skills, muscle memory in particular, and good habits, which means doing our workout every time we're supposed to, holding ourselves accountable, self-discipline. Three rules of our dojo are self-control, self-discipline, and respect. And if we cultivate these, we can do a workout without having made a plan. So today, I'm just gonna fall back on my own habits. I'm gonna do what comes to mind and just do exercises that have worked for me that are tried and true, and we're gonna get a good workout. And if you have built up your own habits and muscle memory, you can do that anytime you need a workout. Reach forward, pull back, without worrying about, do I know what I'm doing today? Do I have a coherent plan? So you don't always need a plan. They help. It's a good idea if you have time. Feel your hips. The thing I've been working on lately is self-compassion, kind of forgiving yourself for your own mistakes in a way that is healthy without being uh, lax or lacking of discipline. So we can do that today. If we if I throw out any combo and I say, oh, this combo is kind of strange, let's change it. It's like, no worries, just make it better. Seat kicks. I think listening to your body is a really important part of the no plan workout. It's always an important part of every workout, but especially now today. So I'll be listening to myself. If something feels like I'm at failure, then I switch to a different exercise. And I can't know if you guys are near failure or if it's too easy or too hard. So if we all practice this skill of just being self-responsive. That probably sounds really obvious, but it's worth keeping in your mind. Swing your leg. I think that's one of the things I like least about this virtual structure is if you go to watch a workout online, there is no adaptive aspect of it at all, unless they offer modifications, but even then, Holding yourself accountable by always doing 10 and always doing two minutes and so forth is, is great to a point. So for today, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do what feels good. You can get a pretty good workout that way. I think it doesn't push you to 11 the way that some high intensity intervals can do when you do have that timer pinning you down, so to speak. But with discipline, I think you can get close. Making the decision in advance. I'm going to do 20 whatevers now. And then you stick to it. Okay. Feeling good? It's back fall. Start with abs. I like starting with abs. Hands under your seat like this. Lift your shoulder blades up, 
Tuck the belly button. We're gonna change to sister crunches, so bring your legs together and apart. Now just because they mess with your mind, I'm gonna try little ones that go up and then down. These are definitely not the best abs ever as far as theoretical foundations of abs go, but I like that they make me think about my breathing and they mess with my head. It's always fun. Arms. Let's do shell instead of six, so we're going to switch to diagonals now. Switch to the other diagonal. This is an example of where I would love to quit doing push ups now, but because I said shell instead of six, we're going to finish. Brave Eagles. Inverted. Hands down here. And if you hate some of these, just do a different six different kinds. Final set, we're gonna do tigers and a diamond under our chest. And I'm very close to failure, as you can probably tell. I'm gonna try to do one more. You challenged yourself. Shake it out. Let's get a quick drink. <sighs> can hear every gulp that I make. Thanks to these babies. Power Beats Pro. I love them. No, they did not pay me to say that. Okay, guard up. Start with ball kick, landing forward, jab cross, shuffle back. Today we're gonna work on extension. Hi. So we're gonna start a little slow with the, the moves. We're gonna go for precision and extension. So get that kick out there, turn it, curl the hips forward, all the way to extend, extend. I think my arms are kind of shot today and I don't know why, but I'm telling you that so that you understand if I don't blast my, blast our arms today as hard as we could. Can feel I'm gonna need to focus elsewhere. Let's pick it up a little. Let's go low with the kick. interesting going low because you still want to come back to the crane stance it's tempting to go low and come in so watch out for that here bring it back step out let's test that bring it up low bring it back and then come back high so low bring it all the way back and out how can we make that even more challenging out me no nah. Out, roundhouse kick if you want. You need a floating pivot for that. If you can do it, let's change to hooks. Kick low, roundhouse kick, hooks to the temple. If that floating pivot is tricky for you, you can touch down. You can come back here and bring it back, touch down into this. But I'm gonna try with no touch down and hooks. Did you see the little touchdown I did? Here, little touchdown. It's just, it literally is just a touch, not a, not a plant. You can try it too. Kick, touch, kick. I like the touch because it gives you a little bounce into the kick. Okay, 
Okay, let's add on. We're gonna hook high, hook low, hook low, uppercut. Kick low, kick high, okay, high, low, low, high. So we've made a up and down combo now, evolving from our last combo. Kick low, kick high. Punch high, two lows, and a rising. Or another way would be to think about it is kick, kick, hook, low, low, finish. Kick, kick, high, low, low, finish. Kick, kick, high, low, low, finish. All right, let's bring it on. Say, remember to kick the knee or the shin. Oops, say, really low kick. First one, you should be able to whip that guy out there. Say. 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 Change the elbows for the last three strikes. Boom, boom. Hook high. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Shuffle back. Kick, kick. Ooh, too high. Punch. Elbow, elbow. Rising. If you have space and will, we can advance on those elbows now. Here, here. Punch. Coming in. Visualize our target. We punched him here. And when we come low, we have to be there. It's pretty close if you imagine the hook hitting the side of the temple. So maybe let's lunge into the hook. So we've got one, two. And from here, lunge into the hook. Hi. And that gives us the right distance. So a little kick, big kick. From here, we're back to this. Let's take a moment, take a breath. Let's do an ab set. And then we're gonna train that double kick to give us the ability to do that lunge really nicely. Here we go. After abs and the push-ups, we'll get a drink. And then we'll work those kicks. And then we'll try this combo one more time. Let's do twists. I really like this combo. Got more complicated, but in a good way. Gets lots of targets. It's unpredictable, maybe. Let's do a uh, double crunches. Try to do 20 more. Keep it up. Half done for me. Crunch from the center. Shoulders back. 15, 16. Awesome. That's what I mean about high intensity intervals with timers being potentially able to push you farther than a, a no plan workout. So it's like a mini plan workout. Just make a choice, do it. Make it a little challenging for us. One set push-ups, your choice. Right? Ah, child's pose. I'm excited about our plan for next week because we'll be using Zoom, I think, or some live platform, likely Zoom. And um, a live platform is nice because we can see you guys and we can talk about stuff a little. It'll still be a kickboxing class, but there can be a little bit of back and forth if we need that, as opposed to just this one way. Ah, so what was I saying? Kicking. So for this kick, we're gonna just start with this. Low high, low high, low high. 
And for this, you have to have good balance, obviously, because if you're kicking into it and falling, you can't keep going. And I've done these before. So, switch. Just a little warm up here. Pull the toe back. All these things I'm correcting it myself. Sweet, switch. So now, if we're gonna do this combo thing, where we do this, the main thing is for the round kick to land back and not throw the round kick in and fall in. Falling in is great in a fight. It's hard. Wham! And then you're in, and then you're in with your body weight. Absolutely valid. But for the combo we're doing, for where we want to go next, which is more leopard-like, we want to sneak around our opponent, right? So I'm gonna kick them in the ribs or the head, wherever you want to feel comfortable. It doesn't matter as long as we're kind of going up a little bit, just to challenge ourselves. But then we have to come back here so that you can lunge forward. I know I've done these in at least one other class, but let's practice it because it's worth practicing. So we're gonna round kick, count to two. One, two, let's palm our knees twice. And then, and then lunge hook. Reset with the shuffle back or step back on the other side. So you can turn the toe around the kick. And then from here, lunge in and hook. But I forgot to tap my knee, so we're gonna do that. Two, punch, reset, kick. One, two, lunge, punch, reset, kick. One, two, lunge, punch. Obviously, you can do however many palms you want to just test your balance more. So, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. If you can do two, you can probably do five. But if that's, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I'd be curious to know if more is harder for you guys. For me, I feel like, yeah, if I get two, I'm, I'm centered. And then I can just do this until I feel like I look too stupid. Here we go. One, two, up, oh, yeah, but there I lost it. So that's where two wasn't enough. Should have forced myself. Let's do a couple more. Hope that's working for you guys. Let's do a couple more and then we'll try putting this back together. Huh? Even the palms is martial arts -y. As weird as that sounds like, because in Shaolin we do these soft style, like a willow palm block or something, you know? So for these, you can get a circle. It's not just here, right? It's coming down, down. So I'm slipping in some <laughs> Shaolin Kempo practice into this innocent looking thing. Hey! Last one for me. Hey, 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 hey. So, okay. So, where does that leave us? That leaves us with our little kick kick. And from here, we're back in the crane stance. That's the important part. So kick kick. You need to be there so that you can lunge. If you kick here and you try to fall and lunge, it's very strange. Probably doable, but definitely not as controlled. When we come back to here, now I have a choice. I could kick again. I could lunge back. Let's try with a couple lunge backs if you have space. Move forward, maybe. So one, two, and then lunge back. And then switch our feet. So we have one, two, lunge back. That would be, you know, we throw the kicks, they block it, and they're advancing. And we do not see an opening. We think that lunging would be too dangerous, so we don't go for that. Hi, hi, hi. Here we go. Last one. Hey, okay, now we're gonna put it back into our combo for real. So kick, kick, lunging forward, and then bam with the punch. And at this point, you can come back in with the elbows. So let's do that a few times, and then I'll show you different options. So I've got my options here: lunging, punch, and then elbows. We're gonna add a knee to finish it, because whenever you have a rising elbow, especially off the back, that knee is right there. And it's a shame not to use it if you want to finish the fight. One, two, three. Assuming you see that grab or whatever. One, two. And then we reset. So kick, kick. Getting close. Then the elbow combo into the knees. And reset. I'm gonna go now. 
Сай! I'm gonna correct myself. You can correct yourself if you need to. Hi. Hi. And I'm going slow for balance there on purpose a little bit, pausing momentarily. But we can dispense with that if you feel like you can do that. Take as much or as little time as you want there. Hi. One on each side. Two more. Last one. Sweet. Quick drink of water. I hope that all makes sense. Happy to clarify anything if you need. Just post about it. Breathing, I need it. I'm gonna put my knees down, balls of my feet still on the floor. Just to sit up really tall. I'm gonna give myself five breaths. Ah. Last one. Slip in another ab set before we run out of time. Squirmies. Sitting up, reaching for those inside heels. And then I'll show you another way to continue that combo instead of those elbows. <sighs> Spoiler alert, there's still an elbow. It's just different. <sighs> Rope climbers. One, two, threes. One, two, three. Higher each time. One, two, three. So high, higher, highest. And that wasn't high. That's high. Higher than highest. Make sure the first one is still an effort. I have a tendency to know I'm going to do three, so I cheat on the first one. But the whole point is, after that first one, you're like, wait, that wasn't as high as I could go. So that way, all three of these count and are working you. Two more on each side. One, two, three, four. E. Okay. Let's do uh, some push-ups from a pipe position. So we'll do green drinks, water. Hands on a diamond. Feet a little wider than shoulders. Maybe four or five hands. Okay. Down we go. Bringing our third eye to the water between our palms. <sighs> Dropping those elbows down, keeping those knees straight. Back straight in the pike. <sighs> See how low you can go. For me, I tend to feel like, oh, these are easy, but then I remember I'm not going down far enough. <sighs> if they're still easy for you and you're like touching your elbows to the carpet, Congratulations, so you can always elevate your feet to make them harder. Of course, you need something to stand on to do that. Like a long stair or something. Box. Hands shoulder width apart. I'm going to drop those elbows to the line from our palms to our toes. That's leopard push-ups. Everything has to be an animal for Charlotte Kempo. But I like it. Animals are snuggly until they break your face off. Ah, okay, that's good for me. Like I said, my arms are a little bit crushed right now for some reason. Cobra stretch. Uh, pulling back to the child's pose again. And stretch as long as you need and on your feet when you're ready. Mm. So, 
boom, boom, kicks, lunging in, hook. And now from here, I want you guys to start that combo with control. And throw that hook with a big swing. Obviously not, not the arm swing. I mean a big follow through. So come with a controlled hook, lunge in controlled hook, but then let it come through and let your hips turn over because that's the natural motion. It will hit really hard. And from here we have more options. Or I should say different options. If you swing just a little bit, these elbows make sense. If you swing a lot, the elbow still can make sense, but it's like a huge return, right? So I'm, ah, now I'm like, am I really gonna land? This is my next shot. You can, if the person's already getting beat up, you have time and it's good to commit to power at that point. But let's say you come through here and you didn't really land that hook very well. I'm kind of on my back leg a little bit. You might see I could even lift my heel up. I shouldn't lift it up, but, but I, I could, right? And then but that gives you power on that back leg. So you punch here and you can come back in with a side elbow. And then into a body blow. And then we'll let's finish with a dropping elbow. So just to work on that combo here with whichever leg is forward, front leg punch, side elbow, body blow, dropping elbow. And if that's too much for you, if that feels confusing, you can try it a few times first. <laughs> Hi. So punch through, coming forward with those two strikes and finish. Punch through, coming through with these two and these two go together, right? Cause it's one set, ah, it's getting us nice and close. Hey, the idea is if you can hit them in the groin or in the thigh where they like buckle here, ah, you know, or this punch maybe you can land that even to the stomach, solar plexus, they might ah, collapse here just enough that you can get down onto the spine above the, above the neck. Here, boom, boom. So that's what we're going for. And if you wanna cut down on that, the main thing I want you to work on is like getting in there with the punch. So punch here and then come back through with this elbow punch. Ah, even just the elbow is good practice. A little bit different. So punch here and then ah, the elbow. Let's just do those quick. Punch, elbow, and then step back. On the other side, lunge, punch. Step elbow, reset, switch, lunge, punch, elbow, reset, and switch, lunge, punch, elbow. So if you got that down, lunge, punch, elbow, and then into this punch and watch that back heel. It's easy to like commit too far on this particular combo. So try not to lunge, elbow, punch. And what did I finish with? I already forgot. Here, oh yeah, hello, ah, dropping them, so good. Okay, we're almost out of time. So what I wanna do is try to put it together now at your own pace, please. If you need to break it down like I was just doing, break it down. You don't have to try everything if it's overwhelming. And if you got this, do it. Ah, I still need to work on it. I gotta put it together now. Hi, here, si, si, si. It helps to visualize your target. Where am I hitting? Hitting to the head, hitting it low, following through. And if you really follow through into that thrust punch, body blow, then this one makes more sense because it comes back around. All right. And if you don't have space, you can do this without the lunge. Switch. So here's how it looks with no lunge. You just land back and you still throw the hook. Hi, hi. Switch. I'll do a few this way. Hi. doing this without the advance. If you have not tried that, try it. The reason is it helps work those heels on the ground. Like I said, that was one of my concerns training this for myself is I want to practice advancing. Of course, advancing is a good habit to build, but so is grounding. Let's just do a couple on each side. I'm into my cool down music. 
so this is it for me. If you need more, just rewind the video. Hey. I love this, it feels very karate. To ground, ground, ground. Work today. Let's drink water. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream series and I sincerely hope that you will sign up with us to join for our live for our zoom live kickboxing which will be very much like this with much more good stuff. Let's go one foot out. One foot in, reach for that ball of your foot. Breathing in, straighten your spine. Breathing out, exhale. Sinking in with each breath out, straighten. And bend at the waist, pouring yourself down. To the center, same idea. Switch. To the center. Renewing that breathing. Sometimes my mind wanders while I'm stretching alone, like I just did there. It helps to return to the rigor of the process. Breathing in, bending forward. If I could tell you guys one tool that helps with martial arts, more than anything, breathing. It's like our own internal clock almost for our body. Yeah, it's relative, but that's good. It's tuned to us. Butterfly stretch. I like to put my hands under my ankles. Again, grow tall. And from here, beneath the waist. And if you can't reach that, you can still do it here on your ankles, like this, or here, here, whatever works for you. But I try to keep the straight spine. All right, on your feet. Point that. Flex that thigh a little bit, point the knee straight down. Breathing in, grow tall. Breathing out. Grounding. Yeah. Switch. So like I said at the beginning, I went into this class without thinking specifically that I was going to work on hooks or balance or distance or any of that. But I just took that basic combo, ball kick, jab, cross, and I started applying variations. What other moves do we know? Kinds of stuff I talked about in the design your own combo class. I hope this felt like it kind of synthesizes a lot of the previous material that I've covered, because it did. ways to approach your workout. It's lazy and still effective. Hey. Let's, let's uh, switch when I'm over the top. Switch the side. Uh, rolling down. Uh, 
If you would like advice on building and maintaining discipline, I recommend the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. It talks about the different phases of habit formation. There's four different sort of steps to it. It's like stimulus, response, but broken into even more granularity than that. And it's really insightful. One of his tips that I really like is don't miss twice. If you're feeling really crappy and you sleep through a workout by accident and you're like, oh no, I'm off the, I'm off the wagon. Let's roll our shoulders or your neck. Don't use that as an excuse to miss the next one, right? Oh, I'm already off the wagon. It's the opposite, right? That's where you say, I missed one, but I won't miss twice. That one has helped me a lot. There's a lot of good tips in that book though. Ah, all right, guys, we're going to do our full body stretch. The last time on the stream here, breathing in, grow tall. Exhale, pressing down. You still got Alexis class, I think. You need to go tall. I can't remember if she did her last one yesterday or if it's tomorrow. You can check. And exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice job, guys. Thank you for working out with me. I look forward to seeing you and your faces live on Zoom.